Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today's video, I'm going to be going over the Mana Spiral for uh, Galaranzel, and I also wanted to talk about the Halloween Melsa coming, um, Summon Showcase coming back, which is her and uh, the Bacon pri Priestess, Akasha. Um, both videos were going to end up being two short ones, so why not just one decently sized one? That's my thinking. But yeah, that's going to be today's video. Hope you like it. If you do, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Let's go into it. So here's Galaranzel. So this is a very interesting uh, mana spiral, mainly because um, the Prince obviously was a very strong unit, um, but it was obvious that his mana spiral was more towards getting him up and ready. The main problem with him was that he was completely useless in um, the new in a post nihility world. He was kind of useless. Uh, Gala Ellie for sure you needed a mass spiral at some point. And now this is a very interesting one because Gala Ranzel 100% does not need a mass spiral at all. They already fixed Gala Ranzel when there was a big patch that basically buffed a lot of characters and nerfed one with Vice. Um, so I assume all they're gonna really add is a strength amp is call it a day. Let's see what he does. He really doesn't need one. He's already very good. Someone has requested me to do a showcase of how he is now just because it seems like the number one thing most people don't seem to understand is that Galaranzel is good and that it's especially with returning players because for the longest time he was just the worst Gala unit in the entire game. Um, so it's very surprising to see him, to them, to see him such in high prominence. But let's get into it. So, Cyclone Blade, shareable 4, deals damage to the target and nearby enemies, damage 309, 6 hits, skill energy required 2661, uh, when it's a shared skill 8914, they didn't add anything to it, makes sense, it was already a very good move. Weird that they didn't add anything, but I guess they did give it a little bit more damage, so that works out. Activate Scale Clad Sword. The user's four strikes are powered up and can damage far away enemies. Also increases the entire team's defense and grants the user a strength amp. After this amp is granted, this skill will not grant it again for 30 seconds. That really sucks. Holy crap, that sucks. It was bad enough when Ellie had it, and now it's 10 times worse that he has it. Um, skill energy required 5,800 special effects. Defense 20%, last, uh, last 15 seconds. Galaclad Sword charges, charges 3, does not stack. Amp, Strength Amp, Team at Wide, level 3. Sure. Dragon Haste. Uh, that doesn't. That makes even less sense. It's a level 3 amp and this has 30 seconds. Dumb. Dumb. Koa Billy, Dragon Haste 15%. Chain Call Up Ability, Win, Critical Rate, Double Buff 10%. Experience boost 3 grants Renzel an attack gauge and a burst gauge. The attack gauge fills when regular attacks connect with enemies, while the burst gauge is filled with 4 strikes successfully connected. For every completed filled gauge, Renzel's defense is increased. Any filled gauges are consumed when using the Cyclone Blade skill increases the power. Uh, susceptibility split. When he's either hit by freeze or bug, he will ignore it and give 15% strength, and it will not activate again for 10 seconds. Skill damage 35%, increased skill uh, damage by 35%. And that's him. Uh, he's still good. It doesn't seem like to me that they've made any real changes to him, except for the strength amp. Giving him a little bit more damage and some stuff, just making him that much more better. I think I saw someone say it was like... Uh, for a 4 to 5% change in terms of strength, but that's not, you know, hey, that's not for nothing. He's already very good, he's just that much better now. Um, yeah, there's not really much to say about him. He's good. He continues to be very good. Which is good. If you do, if you have never given him a chance, give him a chance. He's 100% worth the effort. Thankfully, this isn't going to be like every, every, every other Mana Spiral where you're waiting forever. No, it is going to be exactly like that. The difference is that you're not waiting for him to be good. He's already good. So the wait is really just kind of kind of annoying. That's it. So yeah, that's his Spiral. And now let's go over to Halloween Melsa and Halloween Akasha. Because uh, Halloween Fantasia is coming back. So featured event. If you don't know, these are all limited units. The Summon Showcase will once again feature limited time adventurers and dragons. Featured adventurers and dragons will also have a boosted appearance rate. So you got Halloween Melsa, Halloween Akasha, Halloween Mim, Halloween Ellie, Halloween Lowen, who is better than probably every other unit I mentioned after this and before him. 
Halloween Odetta, Halloween Athema. Oh, well, maybe not. Hmm. Loan is very good. He's the best healer for fire, no doubt. And Halloween Edward. And Dragon's Halloween Martimus and Halloween Silk. Uh, so the first time that specifically Melsa and Halloween Akasha showed up, it was an extremely shitty situation. They were only here for two days, and then the next banner they were gone, and I thought like, hey, this is the Halloween banner. They were with a Galadragalia, but obviously the next banner is going to feature them in it, because that's what you always do. They did it with them, basically making them the most limited crazy units. I actually have both of them, which I'm happy for. I have no idea how I was able to get them, but I do. Uh, obviously, I know how to get them. I pulled, but I didn't have to pull like crazy. Um, it was insane. I don't know what they were doing with this. So it's nice for them to be back and to be here for longer than two days. Dragalia does get a lot of blowback for um, having short banner releases, meaning that they're only here for like a week. Um, which this banner is only here for like, no, it's a little bit more than a week, I think. 418 to 427? Let me see. Yeah, just a little bit more than a week. Um, but yeah, that two-day original that was really mean. So let's look at them real quick. Um, we got Halloween Melsa. She's got Spooky Revival, increases the entire team's strength by 25% for 15 seconds. Uh, wow, they didn't include any of the... <laughs> wow, this is the old style of them. Okay, fine. Shareable Venom Bite deals wind damage to the enemies directly ahead, inflicts poison, and lowers their poison resistance by 20% for 30 seconds. The resistance reduction will not stack, but changing directions is possible during the attack. HP 15%, chain co-op ability win 60% uh, equals strength 6%. Uh, Endurance of the Dead 2, upon revival, the user will come back with 80% of their HP once per quest. Freeze resistance 100%, poison equal team strength 10%. Alright, so when she first came around, I think I got a decent amount of feedback saying, like, I think you're kind of underestimating her because you're not in the shoes of a new player. Um, so let me give a fair evaluation here, which is something I totally neglected. Um, for the most part, this ability, upon revival, the user will come back with 80% of their HP once per quest, um, is bad for extremely hard content because for the most part you only really have one life. Now the thing I neglected to mention was that this is actually extremely useful if you're someone who's brand new to the game and still learning the game. This can actually be an extremely big boost to helping you kind of do bosses that you weren't able to do beforehand um which is something i totally didn't actually think about because i haven't been that type of player in a very long time so for a beginner friendly unit she, her having this ability is super nice i kind of wish that um this ability could, i really wish that she was more geared to her toward high end play but at the same time there is actually something in hers that is geared toward high end play which is the venom bite uh, which is a shareable skill um, now, when she first came out, there wasn't a lot of reason to have this poison resistance by lower their poison resistance by 20% for 30 seconds. Um, but then they started releasing bosses that actually had high um, resistance to poison. I think specifically it was the brand new... What is it? Acelia? Is, is, is it Acelia who has, like, in her final form just an crazy amount? Isn't it, like, 80% poison um, resistance and, like, 0% Stormlash? I think if I'm remembering that right. Um, so this ability actually ends up being very useful for that, which is good. Um, so she has a little bit more use now, uh, which is always good. So if you want, if you're a big fan of Melsa, if you're a new player and you're like, I'm actually having a lot of trouble... And maybe potentially I'm someone who really wants poison resistance. She's definitely someone that you can uh, try and get. <laughs> Again, I'm trying to not be... I've, I have her. I'm happy to have her. Um, I don't really use her a whole bunch. But that's because I'm a very different player from when I once was. So, you know. But maybe if I actually tried and deep down and tried to look for her, you know. Maybe that's something on me. Maybe it's on me. But anyway, let's move on to Halloween Akasha. 
Nameless Abductor. Deals water damage to enemies in a line and reduces their defense by 3% for 10 seconds. Coffin of Madness. Deals water damage to the, lar to the target and nearby enemies and inflicts bleeding. Strength 10%. Water HP equals flame resistance 6%. Abilities, defense redu reduction reduced equals, I don't know why I fucking Elmer Fudd that. Defense reduced equals debuff edge 2. Increase the chance of inflicting debuffs by 50% for 5 seconds upon successfully reducing an enemy's defense. After activating this ability, will not activate again for 5 seconds. Sun resists 100% and bleeding H equals HP recovery. Um... Similar to how Halloween Melsa is someone who's really good because of this specific move right here. She's kind of good because she's able to kind of keep the debuffing going and prevent, I think, pure 100% resistance to anything. Because if you didn't know this, over time, um, resistances are built. So if something has zero resistance, every time you apply a new coat of something, it increases the resistance by, I think, 5%. Until eventually, I think it's 30 uses, so it's not 5%. But I think after 30 uses of applying something, it, they just have 100% um, reduction against something. Um, but if you have specifically uh, Akasha, you can kind of prevent that. And the same actually goes for Melsa with her specific move Venom Bite here. Um, because it doesn't... Uh, no, because it lowers the resistance. You get what I'm saying here. Um, is another unit I'm glad to have. I don't really... Th see much play for her in specifically the fight she's in uh, but I think that's really more the twins kind of being a pain in the ass to be 100% honest with you um, blades in a weird place I think there have been people going back and forth on my healer video it's talking about how good are blades nowadays um, the, I want to say one of the last blade units they used released was Halloween Akasha so um, there has definitely been a weirdness with some blade units where I feel like they're afraid to make them amazing. Maybe because of their co-op ability of strength 10%, I don't know. Um, usually this co-op ability is good enough to just put them in the back of the team regardless of anything though. At least for a decent amount of builds. Um, again, this is another unit I like, but come on, let's be look at her. I love all the Halloween units. I have every Halloween unit but Martimus and I think... No, it's literally just Martimus. So here's the other thing about this banner. Should you summon because there's so many of these limited Halloween units? It's really been... I don't know. Obviously, I love Halloween low, and I think he's the best healer Fire has, but... Um, you know, Ver 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 is it Verica or Veronica? I always get confused with the V names. Um, Veronica. She's a perfectly good uh, um, fire healer, and she's also a four, so it's not like you're missing out on too much. Um, so there are at least other options, even if I do think Halloween Lowen is the best for fire healer in general for staffs. Um, he's not as, like, a drop everything and get him as he once was, I think. Or maybe the game has just changed enough. Who knows? He is still really damn good, though. <laughs> And I love Halloween meme, uh, Halloween meme, Halloween Mims look. Um, Halloween Ellie has been through some rough stuff. I think that's fair to say. Uh, Odetta, Athena. I, I, I want to say Altima is very good now. Odetta is not as good as she should be. And Edward, I can't remember if they ever gave him a mana spiral or not, if I'm being honest with you. Martimus is also used with some builds and Silk is not, but she's a very cute dragon, so... Yeah, those are those two things, man. Thank you very much for um, watching this video. I don't know why I'm suddenly at the end completely losing everything, but I am. Uh, once again, you, if you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next adventure. You guys have a good day now. Peace out.